we're going to head out to the four mile marker and set up a lower target on the marker pole and then we're going to set two other poles in the ice one at uh, about 3.4 miles and the other at two miles and that's what the uh, two sewer pulse pipes are there and these will be for holding uh, markers at 73 inches above the water uh, surface um, to match the other lower targets. This will be part of what would be kind of like a Bedford level experiment where all the um, marker targets will be at the same height above the surface of the water and then we'll uh, look at them straight on and see if they're all in a straight line as they would be lined up on a flat earth. Now we're going to head out to this direction up in the foreground here this is my reference marker pole you can see I have a scale on it so that I can measure the exact height above the surface of the water and out here you can see friends and island that target in the center there the screen that's the 1.36 mile target you can barely see it anyway we're going to head on out and get these poles set up before nightfall we'll just take a quick look through the auto level and see uh, what what's on up there out there the auto level is right over here got a path coming up off the ice I made a little staircase out of snow so I'm climb the bank here's my top con auto level that's the AT B3 and we'll just take a quick peek through the auto level And there we go. That's we're we're headed towards the orange target. The orange target is out at four miles. Things are not lined up because of refraction right now. The sunlight is causing a temperature gradient over in the air above the ice. Hard for me to steady the camera. So, anyway, we got see our four targets that I have right now. The one on the right is at 1.36 miles, one on the left is at 2.72 miles, the orange target is at four miles, and the little one just above it that's the one out at. Uh, six miles. Let's see. Uh, that's looking through the auto level. Okay, now we're going to head on out. Khan's excited. He loves snowmobile rides. Very nice afternoon. Well, Con uh, decided that he's through running and he now wants to ride on the snowmobile. So we're gonna get going here. Come on now, let's get on, Con. Good boy, sit. Good boy. All right. Away we go!
Yeah. The earth looks pretty flat. Out here in the middle of the lake. Up that way is towards town, but I'll just do a pan over the horizon and it's pretty flat looking. I don't see any curvature at this height above the lake, do you? Whoop. <laughs> Snow is settling on me. We do a complete 360 here. And just do another rotation here. There's our four mile marker there. Six mile marker is over on the far shore. Looking uh, southeast right at the moment. And this is about due south. I'll zoom in on the shore on Home Island, see if we can pick up the marker. Probably doubt it. So it should be there somewhere. Oh yeah, there it is. There's the marker. That's the six mile marker there. Well, time to get to work. This is at the four mile marker pole. And I'm looking out from on top of the step ladder. And if you look on uh, Google satellite, I'm sure you'll be able to find this island. That's a little bit to the Northwest and this rock reef. It's sitting there. That's looking back toward town there. That's the town of International Falls with the paper mail. I've now finished installing the lower target on the marker pole. As you can see, the center of the target is at 73 inches. I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, yesterday I came out and guided the pole when I first installed it, it became obvious to me it was more or less like a, a wet noodle with a sail on top and any sort of wind would uh, for sure would have taken it down. So I uh, came out and pounded some stakes in the ice and uh, attached three guy wires and today we put some tethers on so that snowmobilers can see that there's lines there and uh, won't uh, hit the lines with their uh, snowmobile. <laughs> and I also have, as you can see, some reflective tape on the pole so that at nighttime uh, the lights on a snowmobile will reflect off that to warn oncomers that there's something here. Uh, I said the target is at the center of this target, lower target is at 73 inches. I cleared the hole out so there's water. We've got the end of the tape measure just touching the surface of the water. I have a channel where the water is coming from the hole over to the pole and the tape measure is just touching the surface of the water. And as we go up, you can see that at 73 inches is at the center of the target, just like the other targets, lower targets. 
So now we'll go and set up an intermediary pole between this four mile marker and the friends and island marker and then one in between the friends and island marker and the 1.36 mile marker and then install targets lower targets on those uh, tomorrow. Now we get our GPS coordinates as you can see the four mile marker pole is at 48.63388 degrees north latitude by 93.22539 west longitude it's uh, around 5.30 in the afternoon. This is an older GPS. It hasn't switched over for daylight savings. It doesn't know about the changes. And we're do doing WAS averaging here. Uh, we'll take a look at what our satellite strengths are. Whoa, look at that. We're getting, what, one, two, four, eight, two, four, six. Eight full strength satellites and some minor ones. Really good reception out here on the ice. And there's our coordinates. So now we'll go and install the other pipe uh, marker poles. And again, one last look here. What we have. This is the four mile marker pole. Well, it just finished up putting this pole in the ice. This pole is at 3.380 miles from the observation point the, at the reference. You can uh, see here we uh, have the coordinates. Uh, light here. There we go. There's our coordinates. We're at this pole is at 48.63099 degrees north latitude by 93.23826 west longitude. And if we look out this way, we're about six tenths of a mile from the four mile marker. There's a four mile marker in the distance. And right behind it, you can see the six mile marker, the little white dot there. Gonna head out past Franzen Island to install yet another pole halfway between Franzen Island marker and the 1.36 mile here. That's Franzen Island. That's about six tenths of a mile away. We can see the Franzen Island marker there. It's just a little bit to the left of the marker pole. That's the we're headed halfway between that marker and the Friends and Island marker. So now we'll be on our way. It's starting to get light. There's some crepuscular rays coming through the clouds. You can see them there.
I now have the pole installed at the two mile mark. We got our GPS coordinates here. See GPS coordinates are 48.62446 degrees north by 93.26643 degrees west longitude. And it's right now around 6.30 in the evening. And if we look down past this pole, we're about six tenths of a mile from the Friends and Island Marker pole. It's right there. And way off in the distance, that little white dot there in the center of the screen, that's a six mile marker pole. Just a little bit to the right of that, you can see a little bit of orange, which is a four mile marker pole. And then we pan here, that's the hills over on Sandpoint Island on Ontario, Canada. This is all the Canadian shore as I'm panning here from the north to the west. And if we look back this way and zoom in, we should be able to see the 1.36 mile marker pole. Oh yeah, the, uh, where is it? Oh yeah, there it is. That's about six tenths of a mile away. And then right there is my dock. The marker poles and the reference is all right there 
in the center of the screen. Yeah, now we're finally done for the day. Now the thing is, t tomorrow I'll install targets on the poles. It's been a good day. And looks like Khan is ready to go home. Ready to go home now, Khan? Huh? <laughs>